girl Shalana back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the IRS has finally released the date of payouts. That's right, your IRS transcript has finally updated when you're going to get your money, honey. Okay, the IRS also has an important message for taxpayers. We have more on the child tax credit, new office hours, and a whole lot more. So if you want to know where the money reside, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below, and you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like, especially if you love me bringing this content, because I enjoy doing it. It's tax season. We all need our money. Okay. I know what it is. You know what it is. Now, if you do not have Amazon Prime, you can try out Amazon Prime completely free. All you have to do is click the link down below or in the description box. And guys, you can get it for 30 days. So it's not like you have to put in your credit card information. You don't have to do any of that. All right. So let's go ahead and kick things off with the IRS transcript. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the IRS transcript, you can go to irs.gov. You can Google it, honey, okay? It's easy to find, but they have finally started updating the correct date with the payout. Now, I received so many messages from everyone that a lot of people are saying their payout date is February 22nd for your money. Now, remember the IRS did say that it can come on February 27th. However, it can come a little bit earlier. It can come a little bit later, but it came earlier. So I'm not mad at that. Are you? I'm just saying like, thank you. But the IRS does have another important messages for taxpayers as well. And they're like, look, don't call us this weekend. Do not call us at all. So the message from the IRS is loud and clear for taxpayers this season. Go online before dialing our number. Now, the IRS said that this was a peak week for them because most taxpayers are looking for help, which is right around the corner, and they're bracing themselves for it. But for those that are seeking any answers, the best thing to do is go to irs.gov and visit that website before you're calling. So they said like during President's Day weekend, they always get a lot of calls. I have no idea. But maybe because they update the transcripts and people will have questions and they want quicker answers as well. So they said to avoid any phone delays, they have released that the tax agency is encouraging people to avoid calling, especially during an anticipated peak demand for the IRS phone lines that tend to happen around President's Day holiday which is on Monday, February 19th, as well as the two weeks that follow as well. So they said tying up the phone lines with taxpayer calls could understand, understandably be longer than expected wait times. And they're like, look, we have worked hard to provide better taxpayer services for people that are filing this tax season with more options to reach the IRS in a convenient way. So this comes directly from the IRS commissioner. If you haven't checked out the video where he had an interview yesterday um, that I posted, definitely check out that video because he gave some great answers. But he also said, we want taxpayers to have access to the help they need around the clock. IRS.gov's expanded tools and information will make it a lot easier this year for taxpayers, especially during this peak period for the IRS phone lines around President's Day. So they're like, instead of calling, <laughs> please, <laughs> please don't call us. They are directing you to their online self-help tools which now includes as well a step-by-step -step guide to filing your federal income tax return. Also, there's so many ways. I know if you go back a few years, I did a video on how to access your IRS transcript as well. And then they also have a special free help page with additional information on IRS got on irs.gov as well. So, <laughs> as always, y'all, look, don't call these people. All right, this is not Drink in the Hotline Bling. They don't want anything as of right now. All the information should be on that Where's My Refund, irs.gov, your transcript. If you can't find it there, just wait, okay? Now, also don't forget that the IRS do have where you can file online at no cost at any income level as well. And they have like electronic forms that can help 
you fill out or even e-file themselves as well. But speaking of that, they have like specific taxpayer assistance centers nationwide that will be open during special Saturday hours for the next four months. So these Saturday openings, they will take place from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then they have them like on February 24th, March 16th, April 13th, and May 18th. Now these are in like a dozens of states. I checked they are in Alabama as well. They have them in DC, uh, Puerto Rico. They will be open, no appointments is required as well. So currently I think it had like more than 50 locations will be open on February 24th. And as you go down, um, I'll put it on the screen as well. More offices will be open in March as well. So Saturday hours are supposed to be designated to help those people with weekday schedules that you may not be able to get off and you need more time or just to be able to go over. So once again, it's like, don't call us. We're providing you another option that you can come on Saturdays as well. No appointment needed at all. And they have where taxpayers can walk in for all services, you can ask those questions if need be as well. Now, um, you can't make like any cash payments or like if you have a bill or you're trying to do something like that, like they're, they're not taking those type of issues, right? It's literally just like different questions with your taxes as well. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the child tax credit um, because Oregon right now, they have a new child tax credit that for low-income families providing up to $5,000. So I want to say last year in July, the Oregon legislator created the Oregon Kids Credit, and this was a refundable credit for those that had a modified gross income of $25,000 or less. And it does offer where you can get up to $1,000 per child under the age of six. Now, a lot of states have already started paying out their state taxes as well. But the Oregon Department of Revenue says that families can combine this credit that they're giving with others. So if you combine like the Oregon Kids Credit for $1,000 with other credits that are available, other tax benefits that are available for families like the Earned Income Tax Credit, um, as well as they have what is called, I think, like the State Companion Credit. And then they also have like the Oregon Income Credit. You can actually boost your tax refund and for the lowest families to over, they said like $13,000. Now, I don't know, like Oregon, um, Minnesota, and it's another state that seems like they're giving out a lot of money when you claim these credits. So, I mean, guys, as long as you do this in Oregon before the deadline of April 15th, you can pretty much have extra money. But there are 15 other states that I think we talked about that offer additional tax credits. There are currently 15 states across the country, including New York, that are offering additional child tax credit for taxpayers um, with eligibility requirements and potential payouts varying like significantly by state. Now, the states that are offering these child tax credits, they're like Arizona, um, California, Colorado, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, uh, Minnesota, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Oklahoma, Oregon, Utah, and Vermont as well. Now, in New York, parents may be eligible for what they're calling the Empire State Credit, which this was expanded as well last year to include children under the age of four. So I know a lot of people in New York like, girl, my child is older than four. This is what your state, this is what the eligibility requirements were, but they do have where that Empire State Child Tax Credit is for those who have been in New York for a full year, you're a resident, you can be married as well. And then they have like qualifying, of course, like child, um, qualifying child as well, as well as like the following conditions. Um, you have a federal child tax credit or additional child tax credit as well. You must have like your New York federal adjusted gross income to under like $75,000 if you are single, as well as like head of household or qualifying like surviving spouse. And then for a joint filers, they have it where it's $110,000 or less as well. So, I mean, in New York, I don't know why they put four and under. I mean, you probably could have, you know, expanded it to six. But of course, the programs vary significantly by the state, 
the residents. You can always visit like your own state tax department to learn more about like your eligibility, your credit amounts as well. Then also for our, one of our last stories, um, we have where in Michigan, obviously they have started sending out their relief checks from 2022. So those should start coming in the mail, but they also have where storm victims can get tax credit as well. So like individuals and businesses in Michigan that were affected by the severe storms and tornadoes and flooding that happened on August 24th of 2023, you now have until June 17th to file like your federal individual business taxes as well as make those tax payments. So the IRS is offering relief to any like designated um, area by FEMA as well. And that includes like certain counties. So I'll put those counties here, but individuals and households that reside or have a business in those locations, you will qualify as well. And then that same relief is available to any other localities um, in Michigan as well that may be later added to a disaster area. So the list you can find, I'll put it here, but also you can find it on the disaster relief page on the irs.gov as well. So the irs.gov is like, look, we're doing everything. <laughs> We're putting all these things on here. We have resources. I want to say I talked to someone and they said they actually had a chat service where they were able to speak with a representative through chat. Don't hold me on that. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely um, they did have that. Obviously, they're going to be open on Saturdays. They now have your IRS transcript that is updating as well. So go online as long as you know the amount that you're supposed to receive and you have your information, you should be able to find it as well. I know some people were asking me about uh, tax codes. If you want to go over tax codes, just comment tax codes down below and we can do some videos regarding tax codes. But this is what we have. I mean, the fact that February 22nd, a lot of people are going to receive their money We'll see on the back end of what happens with the child tax credit where you can receive an additional check. I mean, today's a good Friday. So let me know what do you think down below, guys. Are you excited about getting your money? Did your transcript update? Singers, don't, you know, don't throw the tomatoes at me. I have some upcoming videos for you guys that's specifically for you. And as always, like grab you some Amazon Prime. It is free for 30 days. I mean, I use it. So try that out as well as please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye, guys.